had a problem Cause we're leaving But everything reminds me of her This evening So if I seem a little out of it Sorry Justin here. Today I'm going to muddle through trying to teach you Everything Reminds Me of Her by Elliot Smith. It's a gorgeous tune. I'm a massive Elliot Smith fan, but this is a tricky one. There's loads of things going on that I think are going to be pretty difficult to explain. So I'm going to do my best to explain the parts to you, but you need to be like an intermediate, upper intermediate guitar player before you attempt this tune, I think, because there's enough stuff that's just, it's awkward to play. There's some really tricky moves. The original recording has quite a few layers, so I've tried to kind of condense them into the acoustic guitar part, but it does make a lot of the bits a little bit difficult. Now, it's in uh, D tuning, meaning like regular guitar tuning, but everything down a tone. So you need to, that's a real common Elliott Smith thing. So uh, I've, I'm in that tuning just because singing it in regular tuning is a nightmare. So if you want to play along with me, you need to be tuned down. You could learn it in regular tuning, but of course it's going to sound a different pitch and that would probably make it quite awkward. But let me get to a close up and see how well I can explain this bad boy to you. So we're starting with a tone bend, uh, third fret, second string. <laughs> bend and release, first fret, then second fret on the third string, first fret on the second string, uh, open to second hammer on on the uh, fourth string, open G string, and then we're to our F major seven. Okay, so you got this thumb playing the bass note, F major seven there. Th th hoping that you know how to play an F major 7 if you're attempting this tune already. Another real nasty. So this is the third fret, uh, little finger and third finger playing the second string and the fourth string. And you're going to slide it in time now I think it's these, the, the G and the B. It's tricky. <laughs> so that's, that's a really awkward little phrase that I, I took me quite a lot of. Then we got this nice little fill there on the C chord. Starting on the and after three. One, two, three, and a fourth and. And this is now a, a C with a G bass. 
playing the C there, so you could, wouldn't really matter. Riff again, F major 7, now F, E, D, going to a D minor. Second finger is going to hammer on the second fret on the fourth string. Then we've got this first fret on the fourth string flick off to the note C where there's a C chord. It's a bit awkward again. Now you can see here there's a lot of extra strumming going on here and trying to explain exactly where the down and the up strums are with the rhythm is just I had a bit of a go at it and it ends up being so massively complicated that I think it'll make it harder to learn it than learning what the nuts and bolts are and then listening to the original recording. If you're going to learn a tune like this, you've got to have to do quite a lot of listening. Okay, you need to, I'll show you what the notes are. Here's where I think he's playing it. Here's what I think's going on rhythmically. But then you're going to have to listen to it and experiment and try and find it. But Elliot is big on the, the hand moving fairly consistently. He, he occasionally, strumming hand, that is. So you're most likely going to find that it's a fairly even movement. Not all the time, but, but very often. So bear that in mind, maybe. So after the C, we have this. This is an A minor. You're playing 5th and the 7th uh, fret, 5th fret, middle two strings. 5th fret, 2nd uh, and 3rd strings. Thinnest two strings at the 5th fret. Okay, this is 4th fret on the 3rd string, 1st fret on the 2nd string. Lifting off little finger, going to the F major 7. Let me have an attempt at playing that real slow and see how it goes. One, two. Starting off with the F major 7 for the verse. I never really had a problem. Because of that down, down, up, down, down, up, down. That's roughly the strumming pattern that you want. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down. But it changes all of the way through the tune. So that would just be a kind of a foundation pattern that you might want to explore. So F major 7. Major 7, then to C. So, a lot of bass movement there. Same A7 shape moved up to the fifth fret. Now this is another A7. This is open, 11, open, 10, open. And then we're just hitting down the 12th fret. F again, major 7. 
D minor 7 A minor F major 7 D7 Now we're into the Let's get up to that point one more time through the verse Make sure that we're all following along here as best we can So I never really had a problem Bass action. Climb down A minor riff. So C. Bass action again. Riff. F major sound. I seem a little out of it. Sorry. A7. F major 7. Second fret open on the third string, 3 2 0 oh, on the fourth string, back to the C note, followed by the F major 7. Now, this is a bit of a weird riff as well. awkward that line but it, I mean musically it works lovely but it just feels awkward under the fingers but it's one of those things about Elliot Smith that never seemed to stop him making an awkward move if it sounded really good which is I think one of the reasons why I love his music so much but um so yeah. C A7 the same move verse 2 is exactly the same After the end of this second section, we got F major seven, but we want to be able to play that line: third fret, first fret, open three uh, to the first fret on the second string, while we're holding the F. A minor, D seven, F major seven. section uh, nice and slow because it's a bit weird so that from the end of the second time through starting on the F Okay, I'm going to have one more try at playing through 
like the second time through, so I'm not going to repeat the verse. I'm going to try and do it real slow. It is a really tricky one. Uh, I know that I'm not going into the usual level of detail that I go into with the strumming patterns and stuff, just because it, it's just really difficult to explain it, and I think it'll be as difficult to learn it if I slow it down like that. You just need to listen, keep the hand moving, and, and hopefully this is going to be enough. Let me know in the comments if this works. If this does work for you, I'm going to try and do plenty more Elliot Smith. If this doesn't work and I have to go back to full detail mode, then I need to reevaluate how I'm going to try and deliver this stuff because I love Elliot Smith, but it's, it's difficult to play and difficult to explain and teach what's going on. There are so many subtle things I want to include, but I think that you're better off learning them by ear. But anyway, here's one last little playthrough. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this lesson. I've got loads more Elliot Smith over on the website. Do go and check it out, justinguitar.com forward slash songs and search for Elliot Smith and there'll be plenty of stuff, hopefully, that you'll enjoy digging into as well. I'll see you for plenty more lessons very soon. You'll take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.